Happy day from the true ray. This is a happy production. Hey YouTube, friends and family, how's everybody doing? You know I wanted to get on here and talk about cloning. You know, cloning. That's where you can duplicate another being. You know, and, and I guess they don't clone humans. Or so we're told they don't clone humans. Uh... I hope if they do clone humans, they're very careful. Know what I mean? And you guys know me. I'm all about love. All about, doggone it, just love each other, be good, be kind, be generous, share. You know, same old, same old coming out of my mouth all the time. Great big hugs and kisses and all that sugary, sticky stuff. Because that's who I am. I love everybody and everything. And that cloning stuff, when they first came out with it, you know, I remember. I remember that very first one and that sheep. And, and I thought, are you kidding me? Oh, my God, somebody's going to burn in hell for this one. You know, you can't be doing that. What about the spirit? What about the soul? What about, what about, you know, a lot of people did. A lot of people just... But you know, today I changed my mind. I'm telling you, I changed my mind about cloning. I did. And all it took was one video. Yeah. I mean, I watch hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of videos. And nothing's ever changed my mind about cloning. Never. Not even a little bit. But, I got this video sent to me. And when I first looked at it, I thought, eh. But something caught my eye. Sheriff. The word sheriff. I mean, considering the video I did, you know, here a few videos ago about uh, our sheriffs and the power that they've got and the Second Amendment and gun rights and gun grabs and the ban on guns and ban and ban and ban. So when I saw that word sheriff, I said, well, I really ought to look at this. Sheriff scares gun grabbers. I have the answer. I'm going to put the link down below in the description box. And as I said, I've always been against cloning. I really don't think that cloning is a is a good thing to be doing until today. And by golly, I think we ought to clone this one. So I'm going to put it down in the description. Click the link. Watch the vote a uh, video. And you tell me if you wouldn't vote for cloning this man. Because I sure would. Catch you guys later. Whole bunch of love. Still haven't changed my sticky, sticky ways, you know. I'm sending you a whole bunch of love and great big hugs and hoping you're having a great day. And click the link. Let's clone this guy. Catch you guys later. Hey, and you know, while we're talking about it. Oh, I came back, by the way. I wasn't finished, I guess. You know how you click that off button and then all of a sudden you start thinking, well, why didn't I say this? So I'm back. You know, while we're talking about sheriffs and stuff, another video that um, I watched and I just think everybody ought to see, at least if you're an American, you need to see it. Because this sheriff thing is, is really uh, powerful in my mind. It really sincerely is powerful. The sheriffs have the power. And I really don't think, friends, that our sheriffs are going to drop that badge and give up the power that they've got. 
We have some great guys that we have voted in to be sheriff of our counties here in America. And they not only have a, a great responsibility, but when they take that oath, their heart's in it. And they're proving it. Many, many, many sheriffs are proving it today. You know, as they stand up against tyranny. And tyranny, for those of you that don't know what it means, go look it up. T-Y-R-A-N-N-Y, tyranny. Go look it up. That's our biggest enemy right now. And uh, between that and treason, it doesn't get much heavier. It really doesn't. This next video that I'm putting the link to down below has a song in the background. Uh, it's Krista Branch, I Am America. And it's an iTunes uh, single release. Listen to the words of that song. If that doesn't spur something inside you, you're in the wrong country. The video itself is going to show you a list of so many sheriffs that are standing up against the ban on guns and standing up for our Second Amendment right. So that's just another thing I wanted to share with you real quick. And if I think of anything else, I'll be back. Because I'll just bet I do think of something else. It's one of those slow thinking days and a fast acting day. You ever have those? They're great. I'll catch you in a few. I'll be back. Did you miss me? Did you? I took that little break. I figured out how to do all these little pieces of videos and how to hook them back together or hook them together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing. Anyway, another thought. Another thing. You know, we all knew that the minute all this stuff started happening and the SHTF starts taking place, that uh, people that are awake are going to start moving forward. They're going to start putting together their plans a little heavier than they've been doing. Kind of like when you're planning for a vacation, you know, you don't really get into it. You talk about it. You know it's going to happen. You got the calendar marked, and that's vacation day. You know where you're going, but you don't really start getting into it until that last minute. And all of a sudden, you're pulling out the suitcases, and you're getting everything gathered up for the vacation. Well, this uh, gun ban and banning of guns and, and all of these... Uh, actions being taken against our Constitution and especially against our uh, rights. People are have had their feathers ruffled and they've been kind of sitting back and they're reading articles or watching the news or listening to each other. They're talking to their neighbors. Maybe they're talking to their friends at work and they're saying, you know, this is BS. This is just BS. They go home, they eat their dinner and they take off their work boots and, and or their work shoes and they put their feet up on the coffee table and kick back and watch a little TV. So they're talking about it, but they're not real close to that calendar date, if you're with me, if you understand what I'm saying. Well, evidently there's a resistance that has begun. People are starting to resist. And New <coughs> York gun owners are refusing to register largest act of civil disobedience in state history. Put the link down below for you on this. My question to you is, what would you do? What would you do? I mean, what are you planning on doing? Are you uh, just going to sit back and let it happen and let the chips fall where they may? 
Are you giving it any thought at all? And don't put it in comments. Don't say a word in here about your plan. This is not a safe place to even be talking about it. We all know that. But you need to be thinking about it. You need to be thinking about how you're going to protect your family and what you're going to do. And with the uh, economy the way it is and the fall of our... Uh, financial state are you putting things away are you making sure that you've got a food supply and that you have medical needs or the medicines that maybe some of your elderly family members are on or anybody that has an illness that requires medication have you got water put away have you got all the things that you're going to need just in case just in case, SHTF actually happens. And for any of you that's going, SHTF, what is she talking about? Shit hits a fan. Just in case the shit hits a fan. We got it coming at us from a lot of directions. Any one of those could break through at any given time. How prepared are you? Have you given it any thought? Don't mention it in the comments. Just smile pretty a wave or something. Don't talk about your plans. Keep it secret. We have to. But it's something you need to think about. And if you can't, if you cannot put stuff away, if you don't have a food supply, if you don't have water, if you don't have the things, the basic needs that that everybody needs. If you don't have those things put aside or the means of, of caring for your family for any length of time, talk to other family members, friends, neighbors, churches, organizations. You need to take this real serious, my friends. You really do. Because we have earthquakes all over the place right now and you just never know. You just never know when one might be shaking the ground underneath your feet. Know what I mean? Even if they're man-made, just like Hammer just said. And those are the ones that I'm really afraid of. Those are the ones that have my hair standing on end. So give it a lot of thought. You know, it's about us. Don't forget who you are. Look in the mirror, look into your own eyes, and say, who am I, really? Who am I, really? We are all the same, the human race. And we've got a lot of dirty dogs that are doing some really vicious snapping and snarling. And they're really trying to destroy what we have going. Look for the good. Always look for the good, but be prepared for the bad. Because those snarling, vicious dogs are just that. They're rotten, no good dogs. So, uh, are you? Are you prepared? Just in case? Or are you just thinking it's okay? It's okay that you're going to be safe anyway. Don't put your life and your well-being in anybody else's hands, and especially not your government, because you are not their concern as far as your life being better. And that is a fact. Uh, you're better off getting help and, and banking and counting on a total stranger right now. That's just my opinion. So, there may be a, there may come a time when there's no real peaceful way to preserve our rights, to hang on. And uh, given that thought, I mean, it happened before in our history. It certainly did. It certainly did. And uh, let's just hope it doesn't happen again. 
but the ground is trembling. It is got a little move, movement and there is resistance. It's like those two plates coming together. So uh, just give it some thought because doggone it you're worth it. So is your family. So are your neighbors. We are all out of the same mold. We may dress different, look different, some wear makeup, some don't. Let, let their hair grow, don't. Dye their hair, don't. You know, grow a mustache, a beard, or don't. Long hair, short hair. Unibrow, no brow. Wow, wow. It doesn't make any difference. On the inside, we are the human race. And there's a lot of us. Take care of yourselves. Be prepared. You know, it's just like getting ready for that vacation. But don't wait till the last minute. Make it easy on yourself. Start taking some of this real serious. And if nothing happens, oh well. You're prepared for a rainy day. Because the rain can fall any time. I love you all. Great big hugs. And may God bless America and her people. And may God bless Mother Earth. Peace to all. Love you guys. Catch you later.